Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a collective timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to take a look at this topic here. Are you okay with the purposelessness of life? I got this topic from Alan Watts. I know some of you are huge fans of Alan Watts. When I started doing the whole let's feature a teacher thing some of you in the comments said oh i'd love alan watts you know and uh yeah here he is so i'm just gonna press play and i'm gonna shuffle and we're gonna see what he has to say but you see the thing is this if you don't have a room in your life for the playful life's not worth living all work and no play makes jack a dull boy but if the only reason for which Jack plays is that he can work better afterwards, he's not really playing. He's playing because it's good for him. <laughs> he's not playing at all. You have to be able to be a true scholar. You have to cultivate an attitude to life where you're not trying to get anything out of it. You pick up a pebble on the beach look at it beautiful don't try and get a sermon out of it sermons in stones and god in everything be damned <laughs> just enjoy it don't feel that you've got to salve your conscience by saying that this is for the advancement of your aesthetic understanding enjoy the pebble if you do that you become healthy you become able to be a loving helpful human being but if you can't do that, if you can only do things because they are somehow you're going to get something out of it, you're a vulture. So, we have to learn. We don't have to, you know, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to go on living. But it's a great idea, it's a great thing. If you can learn what the Chinese call purposelessness. They think nature is purposeless. When we say something's purposeless, that's put down. There's no future in it. It's a washout. But when they hear the word purposeless, they think that's just great. It's like the waves washing against the shore, going on and on and on forever with no meaning. A great Zen master said as his death poem, just before he died, from the bathtub to the bathtub, I have uttered stuff and nonsense. The bathtub in which the baby is washed at birth, the bathtub in which the corpse is washed before burial, all this time I have said many nonsenses. Like the birds in the trees go, twee, 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 what's it all about? Everybody tries to say, oh, it's, it's, it's a mating call. It's purposeful, I'm trying to get their mate, you know, attract them with a song. Why they have colors, butterflies have eyes on them, self-protection, engineering view of the universe. <laughs> why do that? They say, well, it's because they need to survive. Well, why survive? What's that for? <coughs> well, to survive. I love that clip. <laughs> it's from a bigger talk that he does, and you can listen to the whole thing on the link below I'm able to link that portion to where he's talking about purposelessness I just love it and this is a really this clip is a really good contrast actually between the work I do here here I feel like in piggy card I get to utter stuff and nonsense which is so much fun and then the engineering view of life is astrology you know where we really try to to turn life into a mechanical thing. I, I very often think when I'm looking at a chart, I'm, you know, lifting the bonnet of a car and, and we're taking a look at the engine. That's kind of how it feels. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. T today's reading is totally purposelessness without purpose or meaning or anything. So these are just five random cards. And let's see what journey we end up going on here together. So the first card is wisdom yeah 
Well, we're just listening to the wise words of Alan Watts. He was incredibly wise. And because you're attracted to Alan Watts and because, you know, in the comments I've had people request him as a teacher, it means you are wise because like attracts like. If you spot it, you've got it. And yes, that works for negative things, but it works for positive things too. So if you admire someone, if you see their gifts, if you see their talents, you're appreciating what's in you you have all of that you're recognizing i think appreciating admiration recognition i think these things are all quite similar so you're very wise <laughs> and probably okay what's the topic here okay are you okay with the purposelessness of life yeah i'd say you probably are i'm sure you can just just switch off and not need to have a reason or meaning or purpose all the time oh beautiful mother mary does it say here mother mary and the unicorns are blessing you fantastic okay A man holding a heart. Okay, wow. Number nine. There. Maybe it's the end of a cycle. Maybe it's the end of a cycle with this man holding a heart. I don't know. We shall, we're definitely going to take a look at that one. We've got a number nine here as well. So we've got two nines here. It's like something is ending. Okay, we'll take a look whoa betrayal conspiracy geez i did not see that coming and that's the thing when you have to deal with this kind of thing you don't see it coming betrayal is can be so shocking can be just something that comes out of nowhere so okay we'll definitely have a look at that and that is right next to the man holding the heart We've got definitely some kind of story here. We've got Mother Mary turning up, of course, for healing, for the purposes of healing. Let's have a look here. Miracles. Okay. Wow. Well, this is... Yeah, this is an interesting reading already. All right, let's take a look at the man holding the heart. I want to go here straight away. I'm just like, what is going on? Okay, man holding a heart. This could be quite literal. This could be to do with a relationship, but equally this could be any situation where you've felt betrayed. This could be a work thing. This could be, you know, maybe you thought someone had your back and they didn't. And the pain of that. We've got Mother Mary here for healing. We've got miracles here. I feel like God and the angels will support you through. They will heal you. They will show you the next steps. They'll show you what to do. But we'll take a look in here. These two for me are the most interesting cards. Uh, yeah, interesting cards at the moment. So let's take a look. Okay, man holding a heart. And we'll have betrayal conspiracy. Oh, that really wanted to be there. Okay. And we'll take it. I think that's upright. I didn't see what it was. I don't know what's in there. Okay. Um, wow. Gosh. Well, that is okay. It's like the end of a relationship. Whoa. All right. Maybe someone's going through a breakup. By the way, whoops, sorry, I just knocked the camera. I don't know when I'm releasing this. Um, this is a pre recorded session. Guys, so I'm not particularly able to comment on things like Venus retrograde or any of that, but what I can comment on are the cards that are in front of me, and it does look like the end of a relationship or the end of a phase in a relationship as well. That is possible. Yeah, star card healing. It's, I think you're okay. Whoever's tuning into this, you're fine. 
you're going to be fine. But what about what about the man holding the heart? What's happening? Let's just yeah, we'll have a little look. <laughs> we'll see what's going on there. What what's going on here? Ten of Swords. Okay, so we've really yeah. Ten of Swords. Have another card for Ten of Swords. Take that one. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm kind of getting like an independent. This is like some independent person who just kind of cares about themselves, I think, is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing someone who only cares about themselves. Let's see. Clarify with one of these. Okay, so this person only thinks about themselves, which is why they did what they did. King of Clubs. Now, Clubs is Wands. King of Clubs in reverse. And I'll take it as a reverse, a reverse type card. Clubs is Wands. Yeah, because Spades is Swords. Yeah, King of Wands is reversed. There's a tarot reader that I watch and she believes that when you've got these king and queen cards in reverse, it means that like you kind of get the shadow side of that person. You get the manipulative side of that person. You get the, the person who is, yeah, they're, they're behaving inappropriately. They're doing the wrong thing. Okay. Interesting. I want one more here. I'll get one from here. Any more information about this? Venus in the second. Large family, good childhood, eats well, collects jewels, assets, luxuries, elegant speech, loves fine dining, health and wealth are abundant. Yeah, I am kind of getting a sort of a narcissistic type vibe. I don't want to, I'm not diagnosing anyone or, you know, labeling or I'm not doing any of that. But I, yeah, the, the, we've, we've already established this person is selfish. The only one, what's good for me. And I think what's good for you is time out from this kind of thing and I think I think you're being given that because there's plenty of, of wisdom healing beautiful angelic stuff let's take a look at you how are you doing this so and as I say it could be a love relationship it could be a boss it could be a situation in your family okay maybe just someone is not being supportive as you thought they would be this could be a lot of different things. Let's have a look and see how are you doing. What do you need to hear at this time? We've established what this other person is. So you. What do you need to hear? Page of Cups. Yeah. You need to know that this situation just absolutely does not have the power to diminish your ability to love and to keep loving and to keep starting new and to keep like inherent within you is a, a mechanism and is an ability to renew you can just keep renewing and even even though it may not be right now all right this minute but you you will come to a time and a place where you feel ready to expand the love in your life in your heart 
in your being. And that doesn't mean like in a particular way. So I'm not saying that like from here, if you're going through something really tough, it takes time. It takes time healing. We've got this star card here, Aquarius. Okay, so there might be a phase of healing, but there's renewal. No situation, circumstance, or person, or anything from the outside world can stop healing, can stop love from renewing, can stop. See, like, so if I get cut right now and there's, okay, there's like blood spilling or something, like, it's awful. Well, but the body is just knows internally, it, it automatically renews. Nothing I do can stop that renewal process. Nothing I do, because that's inbuilt, that's inherent. So the miracles are inbuilt. Mother Mary is within you. The wisdom is in you. It's all within you. Okay, this is some outside thing, right? So you've interacted with some outside thing. It hasn't been good, but look at you. You're, you, you're full of wisdom. You've got all the gods, guides, angels, goddesses, everything, miracles within you. It's just like how if I cut the body within, automatically just starts to repair and heal. So same for you, automatically renewal will happen, is happening. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, let's take one of these. Uh, yeah, one of these. Well, that's just a, a realization I just made. I never thought like that before. That yeah, the all the good stuff is within. Like it really is. Like because I think when when you cut yourself, isn't it those? There's something in the blood, and I think it's yellow or something. I think hemophiliacs don't have that in their blood. That's why it's quite dangerous if they get cut. But see, I've got the things within my blood that will just automatically glue it up and heal it. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? All right, let's keep going. So let's see what's going on with you. Any more guidance? Any more anything? You've got everything within you. That is for sure. Ten of Swords. Yeah. Ten of Spades, Ten of Swords. It's interesting, the same card is coming up for you too. They got the Ten of Swords as well. So there's something in this situation. I mean, it, it, it has been hurtful to both of you. There's been something that's been hurtful to both of you. Okay. I'm not too familiar with who this worm character is. We've got Alice there. And it looks like he's, you know, that thing where you smoke and, I don't know, it's supposed to be really nice, which I've never tried. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. Right. We'll get one from here for you. Some cards reversed in here. We need to sort that out. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mercury in the fourth. That is a good card. Let's take a look and see what it says. Loves music, fine arts, is very witty. Commands respect. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's that's a key phrase. Commands respect. That's what this person never did. This person never respected you and that is the, the word respect is such a classic key hallmark word when it comes to narcissists narcissism all this kind of thing they don't respect you they don't respect they don't respect anyone because they don't respect themselves commands respect and that's you that's what you have to do you have to command respect like okay I don't want to say like command respect as in 
tell people you must respect me. No, it's it, here. This is just talking about the quality of a person's being. If you've got Mercury in the fourth, you will just naturally command respect from people around you. It's that that you want to cultivate. And it's this thing that people will silently kind of subconsciously feel. They'll just, you, you walk into a room and they just know, don't mess with this person. It's that, that thing you want to cultivate more and more. And that's, you, you do that just by loving yourself. That's it. I think that's what the boundary is that's needed. It's just self-love. If you love yourself, the rest of the world has to reflect that back to you. So just keep doing the job of loving yourself, basically. That's what you need to do. I think that's pretty clear, guys. I'm actually feeling, because I don't particularly need to clarify on any of these. How about we take some quotes and then, yeah, that might be it. Wow, okay, let's see what's in here. <laughs> take these two. We might, is there a third one? We might take the third one as well. Oh, this is amazing. This is exactly the advice. Your boundary need not be an angry electric fence that shocks those who touch it. It can be a consistent light around you that announces I will be treated sacredly. Yes, absolutely. Do you know, I'm, this is it. I'm going to put this one back. This is the reading, guys. This is what this one's about. This is about, this is about you energetically loving yourself. And the world has to reflect love back to you. It has to. So there's like a self-love deficiency somewhere. So yeah, your boundary need not be an angry electric fence that shocks those who touch it. It can be a consistent light around you that announces I will be treated sacredly or I am loved or I am protected. I have got Mother Mary with me. I'm full of wisdom. I manufacture miracles, miracles inside, you know, that's you. Wow, guys, this one, this one is a short and sweet reading, but I think that's what's needed. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.